You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. You shouting and disturbing the whole people of Agabi land. Yeah. My princess, I'm going to the palace to tell the Igwe that the Amakofa people, they have started again, no? They have started again, no? Just look at my head. Eh? See my hand. They caught me with matchet just because I told them to leave my farm for me. To leave my farm for me. And you're now running to the tiger. Say so you will go and fight for me. Ah. Hmm? My mother hates him and likes to feel about us. Why are you being insensitive? I'm hold deep in my skull. And all you could do is to speak of your mother's likes and dislikes in the palace. Don't you feel the plight of the peasant in this land? Go back to where you're coming from. Eh? Sit back. Hey. Mm. hey. It's time to go back. Ah. Hey. Hey. May your generation upon generation be visited with the anger of the gods. Look at you. I heard you are calling me names. You are calling me insensitive. Mama, he even said you are a fool. Very well then. Go ahead. Call me whatever you like. I promise you one thing. You will suffer in this village. And no fear. Look at you. You couldn't even fight those who are taking your farmland away from you. You couldn't. Her Majesty, uh, 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 uh. I, 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 ah! ah! I want ah! you not to talk when I'm talking. Ah. Ah. Hey. 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 Bye, princess. I've been waiting for you for so long. What kept you? <clears throat> I'm sorry, my love. I would have come earlier than now if not for the problem. What problem? Hmm? <sighs> it's my dear boy who was attacked by a Makofi people and his family. Again? Yes. So they've said that again? Eh? God! My princess, I just wish I had the clout to decree the events of this village. I will raise warriors to go to Amakofi and crush every living cockroach that is existing there. Yes, that's where my mother stands. And that's what I believe. Those people have stepped on her toes one time too many. It's just that my father is with me. 
and he associates his weakness to understanding peace and loving. Have you been to a place where all hope is gone? Patience is all that is left to be cherished. Somebody has to talk to your father. Somebody has to let your father understand that life is like a candle. A burning candle on the wind. We cannot hide in our shells anymore. These are more they are taking too much. They've confiscated our lands, our women, and many times they've killed our indigenous. Yet, we have not done anything. Our Igwe stay hides his fear in peace clothing. I am afraid to say this. Our Igwe, your father, is a coward. Stop it! I said stop it then, my guy! He is my father. Don't forget that. And stop pouring his thoughts on the number one of this land. I have not insulted your father. And I can never insult him. But, Princess, can't you see? Can't you see that this land is heading towards its damnation? Huh? Very soon now, a stranger will come to this land and, and put us, all of us in fire. Princess! Princess! Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the flame in my heart. The fury. They spoke louder than the respect I have for you, my princess. Please forgive me. I shall not speak about this again. Forgive me, please. Listen, Odinak. You loved by your princess. It's no reason for you to insult her father. I love you for your valor. Yes. But insulting my father can pollute the love I have for you. Anyway, I forgive you. You forgive me? Thank you. If, you. if you have forgiven me, why why don't we go to that place and sit down and cherish our loving heart? This man that I see. Have you started seeing a man now? No, Mama. Yes, but not on a moral level. I hope so. Be careful. Okay, Mama. Nendeo. Again. I want to leave. Pour this oil on you. I'm going to break this clay pot on your nose. Or even kill you. This less girl. You think after supporting your father in all his weaknesses that is nearly ruining this village, you come back and start eating with lionesses. That is not possible. Oh, get out, get out! I said, get out of my face! This thing came into me when I was going to have you as my child. I don't know. Mama, don't let her spoil your mood. Of course she can't. It's just that lionesses don't give birth to cats. They give birth to children who are like them. Mama, like me now. 
That's right, my daughter. You are my real child. That woodland sneaked into me. Go and eat from your father. After all, he gives you dry meat. Do you know you're a very lucky man? Why did you say so? How many men in this village will have the opportunity of touching the princess's feet, let alone speaking and holding her? Have you even held her yet? Huh. Namodi, do you know that you are wrong excuse for human being? Yeah? Do you know? So after explaining to you my target and reason for picking such courage to approach the princess, you are asking me if I've held or touched her. Eh? Namde, leave my house. Odi. I say leave my house, please. Odi, my house. Leave my house. Have I done? What have I done now? Eh? Okay, sorry if I've said anything wrong. Ah, sorry. Sorry now. You need to grow. You need to grow, honestly. You see, you know that this village has never been led and can never be led by a woman. Huh? Our Iwe has no heir to his throne. How does that concern the issue at hand? Ah, Namundi. <coughs> you are my best friend. Your reasoning should be flowing on the same track with mine. How do you mean? <laughs> okay, see. If I eventually succeed in marrying Irima, the Grand Princess of Agabi Land, I'll eventually become the prince who will succeed the king when he dies? <laughs> Odi. Huh? Odi, you know you cannot succeed in that now. Nah? Who told you so? Thinking of such may eventually lead you into picking banana peels on the way and akukoba. You know what that means? Madness. Allah. Huh. You see where we are vastly different? Huh? You see where we are vastly different? The, you and I as a king, you need to comport yourself with belief, confidence, and optimism at all times. See, let me tell you, I've had this vision where I left this village as king. And I am determined to make this dream come true. Our Iwe is weak. And I, I have the heart of a lion. Let me sit down. Well, I love your courage. Stop admiring my courage. Pick it. You're a man. And stop chewing this canal. Animal went and told Igwe only God knows what. The Igwe, who has never been able to raise a finger against his numerous enemies, tried to slap me. Me. Oh God. Let him thank his God that those filthy fingers did not touch me. Stupid. Mama, is it Papa you're calling names? Please shut up! You see what I told you? Stupid. This thing is not my daughter. She's not my daughter! Get out! Get out! Come on, get out! Get out! Lions. I am a lioness. Who is this child? Who 
is she? Mommy, it's okay. What's the problem? Why? No, 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 no. Please. Whatever it is that has upset my princess, may that thing never see the sunset. May the ghost of our land visit that with anger and destruction. May whatever. My princess, what are you doing? I was telling the ghost to take care of whatever your source of anger is. Adinaka! <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> You're funny. Hmm? Adi, you have the special way of making me feel happy. It's not my luxury in my heart. Are you saying that I'm the man after your heart? Yes. It's just that I'm in love with you. I don't know what to believe in and where to go to. Do you believe that love can give you wings? Yes. Then you shouldn't be talking about where to go. Rather, where to fly to. Okay, I... I don't know. trying to push me down at all times. You know, for one to be a king, target and objective comes first. And peace is equally important in every leadership. Yes, Power and profit most times does not come into play. I wish I had a son. Yes, I wish I had a son that will lead this village into glory after my death. As you can see, I am growing weak. No. Nothing can make you stronger than the amalgamation of this our great family. Mm. If only Mama could listen to your good wills. Oh yes, your mother is part of my problem. If only she will listen. I am a survivor and I know what war means. War is very, very destructive. I wonder why people should always think that uh, peace cannot be achieved except through war. Mm. War can erase the whole world. And you know that in war, both the innocent become victims. The worst is that Mama thinks in like manners. Oh, yes. But my advice to you is that uh, you must never ever follow the footprints of your sister. Not even when I am dead. Please. The material things and their positions have been in existence before us. So, why 
Why should we fight for it? Huh? Why should I be fighting the Amako Amako fears? Why should I fight them? I don't have a son. So when I die, another family takes up the throne. Can you see why I cannot fight? Seen it? I have few years to live, perhaps few months or even few days. But Nam, do you think it's right for a king to give in simply because his reign approaches an end? Cats, excuse my presence. Your Majesty, yes, my king. Now there's the beautiful one. Our man. If tradition permits brothers to marry sisters, I would give my entire kingdom and throne to have you as my queen. What is it that bothers you, my dear sister? Speak to me. The pride of Amakofia. The princess on whose birth the gods of the rain we are forced to give rain to our land after seven years of famine. A woman whose courage and strength surpasses that of 10,000 warmongers. And there is a for three days now, all my efforts to bring smile to your beautiful, adorable and royal face proved abortive. Yes, it proved abortive. Just like all my efforts to bring out your courage as a man, which you have caged and padlocked, has proved abortive. So, all this attitude of yours is simply because I refused your bid to raise war against the Agabi. The Agabees, whose bid for peace is on. Adeze, I am the king of Amakofia. The safety of their lands and fortunes lie on my throne. For their interest, I will not go to war. There are better alternatives to war than the cries, woos, and the blood spillings that comes with war. You know, what disturbs me most it's not your lack of respect for my judgment. No. It is your contempt for a world far older than us. The answer to the situation at hand is war. Whether you like it or not, it is war. There is no part of my body without a scar. Even my heart beats for your weakness. If you were born a man, what a great king you would have become. Watch your tongue, Adesa. Do not dare me. I have paved ways to respect you as my elder sister, to the negligence of my royal status. Do not abuse such privilege. Please, I've heard that before. And believe me, I am not scared. No matter how brave your warriors are, no matter how strong they are, you still need the favor of the inhabitants to colonize their territory. Let us gather the brave warriors of this land. Let us, let us bind the Agabi people. Let us turn them into our slaves. Let us go to war if you cannot lead them. I can lead them. Let us think of how powerful we'll become. Think of how rich. Think! My lovely sister, you cannot seduce me with your words. If wealth and glory can only be achieved by shedding of innocent blood in battles and by enslaving of men, then I would rather be poor and a weakling, but have peace and love. 
I cannot raise my hand against our brothers. Agabi and Amakofia were one until the tongue of a woman set them ablaze. I will not let that happen in my reign. And what is the meaning of that? That I will not let your tongue divide my kingdom. so we can talk. Not as princess and hunter, but as uncle and niece. Go on. Uncle, I've come to tell you about something you already know about. The people of Agabi have so much treaded on our possessions. When my father was alive, he fought the people of Agabi and he lost every single battle he took to their land. All his efforts to retrieve all his possessions, which was confiscated by the king, his brother, all proved abortive. Now my father is dead, and I believe that his brother is weak. He is no more a threat. My father suffered all his life in the hands of his so-called brother. And at the event of his death, all he could talk about was peace and forgiveness. I don't believe in that. My great princess, I love your courage and determination. Um, if I remember vividly, when your father was alive before his death, he strongly advised your younger brother to sue for peace and pursue it. He said, peace is savior. Peace brings love, progress, and development, which is what we are enjoying now. Mm. Uncle, that is why I left my brother to come to you. But now I can see that all of you have the, the blood of weakness flowing in your veins. My great princess, we are not... Don't walk away on me, please. Come back. Come. What do you want me to do? Come back. Can you help me raise warriors at my brother's back? I can lead them. I am not afraid. You can be the figurehead. I want to repossess everything that belongs to my father, even if it's the last thing I do. 
that is being courageous, gallantry, I must assure you. <laughs> um, but indeed, it will be a betrayal. It will be an abomination. Indeed, a taboo for you or somebody else to involve or lead Amakofia people into battle. War brings suffering, hardship, death, and many evils. The young king will be blackmailed. You know, I was very wrong when I thought you were different. But I am different. I am a great soldier, a fighter. But I cannot succumb to women persuasions that will bring hardship to Amakofia people and a disgrace to our young king. I will never be a party to that. Leave me alone. Don't just call me. Eh? How can you ask me such a stupid question? How can you ask me if I took yourself from office? Do I sleep in the same place with you? You said you hate me simply because I said you should brace up and be the man that you are. Don't call me, yo. It's not my business, anything. What kind of thing is that? What am I going to do with your staff of authority? Inside and said, I'll be fast about that. Ah! What is this? That? <laughs> One more word from you, you will be a dead man. To the backyard. Stay here. Is it done? I had in the neat auto. The great Onoja. Hmm. The ghost of our land has a message for the king. The ghost of Agabi land has risen today to decree on the destiny of one of the greatest sons and daughters of Agabi land. <clears throat> Life, they say, is like frost on the lilies of the earth. <laughs> Mpote de Burunsi, Amorune Fair. Children are also led integrity and honor some together to the parents. But there are innocent people that are falsely accused. Tell the Igwe that the God says he should ask. His heart and eyes. Here's the one. Stop speaking in mystic voice. Tell us who, so that we can tell the Igwe. Hey. Ah. Mm. The great Onoja. It is Anyebere. Tell the Igwe, it is Anya. She should bring out the staff before the wrath of Onoja visits her. The gods have spoken. Tell Digwe to collect his staff of authority from her. For she knows where the doom of Agadina lies. She will destroy him. She will destroy him! You may now go. Thank you, great one. 
Thank you, great one. Your message will be delivered. Igwe, for the past two days you have stayed inside the house without coming out simply because. As and why it says it's your ever loving daughter that has stolen your staff of authority. Well, how I wish you were the law law while I am the king. I would have roasted her belly. I would have roasted her like fowl. And you see me eat her flesh with red oil in your presence. Young man, release the stupid young man. I am going to act on his behalf. Yes, this town should be ruled by lions, otherwise, we are ruined. Shut up. of your visit to our father's brother Mazogun. So he told you. My dear sister, mm -hmm. let me once again take the liberty of telling you that your temperance mm -hmm. and intrusion on issues and matters specifically designed by the gods for men may ruin you. War is for men. And the women's most idea is peace. I am a man under severe pressure. It is just that father, in his last words, pleaded with me to maintain peace and freedom for all. You know, I believe I was born a princess. But I don't belong here. I am supposed to be a warrior. A strong and brave warrior. Whose destiny is finding the lost fortune of this land. And I cannot achieve that if I don't go to war. I expect you to understand that. Dear sister, why do you care so much about war? Slavery and glory? Because that is where our destiny lies. You know, when this land is ready to go to war, the gods will lead us to victory. And if you seriously want to kill that tyrant, the gods will help you. The gods will teach you. Teach you how to walk, teach you how to move, how to take your revenge with honor, and how to live and celebrate it. It will take time. Then you will kill him. No. There are too many complications, my dear. Too many complications for me to ignore. Hadeze, do not try to lure me against the gods. It is not a healthy attitude for me. There Please. Is no, there is no complications. You are just a coward. Shut up! Do not let me show you the other side of me. I am only respecting you as my elder sister. Oh. I didn't know you were brave after all. A child that's safe. That her parents will 
no no sleep. She herself. Ayebere, you are lucky. Onoja says she is willing to pardon you your sins only if you will confess and tell your father where you kept the missing stuff. And what are you still waiting for? Speak! Speak! Or you forever remain banished. What word can atone the defilement of my soul and image? What do you want from me? Ah! You have the heart of stone. You are hereby banished from this land. Any day you set your feet on this land, you shall be used as a sacrifice. Give me that compass. Take this cutlass. It shall feed you all the days of your life. That lead her out of the land. No, I am innocent now. I am innocent. And I am innocent. I am innocent. No, I Hmm? Who could believe that the only I, the Igwe sees with, could do such a thing to the father who loved her so much? Honestly, Chiyohiri, the issue frozen our Igwe beyond worse. If it was not Onoja, the earth goddess of Agabi who spoke, our Igwe couldn't have believed that. Life never divulges details. If I were the Igwe, I would have cut off that stupid girl's head since, even before Onoja's second visit. Yes. <laughs> Thank God there is a deity like Onoja who sees in dark places. Yes. May Onoja live long ago. He said. <laughs> This one you came to my house today. Well, Odi, 
Huh? Have you heard? That Anya Berry, the sister to your heart rock, has been banished by his own wife. Ah. My father came here this morning and told me about it. Mm. Oh. That poor girl. I wonder what could have led her into stealing the king's staff. What would she do with it? Hmm. Maybe she wanted to sell it for jewelry. Jewelry? Of course. But her father provided her with all that. <sighs> Some of the girls that know why she did it. Poor her. I remember the day I was untied from the stake at the palace. She fell to my feet and spoke mystic words. The innocence in her eyes beheld mine as the guards tie her to the stake. The same stake that I was freed from. It was as though our fate were born together. She reached for my help. She reached for my help with her eyes because her hands were tied. That's there. That's there left an indelible mark on my memory. <laughs> I told you, that is an unacceptable degree of compromise. How can you feel so for a common stare? When you know quite well that you're in love with the sister. My friend, be careful, my friend, before you incur the wrath of Onoja. Okay? You were not there. You were not there to experience that stare. Anyway, of what use is it of the feeling that I so much talked about? When the person in question is as good as dead in our world. Please, do you see us on Pam Kale at the backyard? Just look at you, Namode. You are supposed to be my friend. Here I am talking about the future of Agabilan, and you are asking me if I if I have pancanel at the backyard. Yeah. Yes, I have many of them at the backyard. Go and take them. I'll be my friend. My daughter. When your father was accusing us, I didn't want to talk because I knew he was only pursuing his shadow. I knew he didn't even believe it when the goddess was pointing at the eyes of his heart. <laughs> that serves him right. I hate him. He picks grudge every uh, benevolence now. What do you expect from a man of power and affluence? Huh? There are two virtues. These two virtues rule the world. For the interest of this family, what you lack is meekness. Yes, and I want you to listen to me. Are you listening? Yes, ma'am. I want you to replace meekness with ambition so you can be like me. For what? I want you to go and apologize to your father. Ask him to forgive you everything that you are now ready to turn a new leaf. Mama, he won't believe me. Listen to me, my child. I am in charge. Hmm? Go and apologize to him. Gain his heart. What you need to do is to find favor in your father's heart, eyes. Gain his heart. Then he will make you the princess. Then any man who marries you becomes the Igwe. And then in future you will become the Lola. <laughs> but Mama, you know I came because of it. Listen to me. I said I am in charge. We will pretend as if we are now enemies that we are quarreling. We will keep doing this until he performs the Etichi Adeze. Mama! <laughs> you are a genius, Mama. <laughs> I have to be a genius to be the wife of the Igwe. And, uh, and that's what I want you to be. Nothing pleases me as that you take over from me. The future love. <laughs> 
Mom, I promise you I will feel as good. I know you will do it for me. Yes, Mom. <laughs> to ruin my future. You are heartless. You are evil. I caused the day you bought me. I can't be mad. Hey, Rima. What is it? I mean, who are you cursing? It's my witch of a mother who... Shut up! Shut up. I forbid such utterance to your mother that bore you. It's a taboo. Oh, have you gone mad? God, excuse us. Okay. What is it? Speak. What is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have ignored the ways of life which you have paved for me from infancy. To follow the wider ways of my mother, which filled my life with scorn, dilemma, and reproach from everyone. I've really offended you. Very ma. Mm -hmm. Oh, my daughter. Rice. Get up. Mm. I welcome you with all my heart. It's all right. Presently, I am under a situation, and it is you, Erima. It is you that will fit into that position. Uh, Father, will you ever forgive me? Oh yes, I have forgiven you because I do not have a choice. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Thank you. It's all right, my daughter. Now, let's sit so that we may talk. Adinaka, please come and help me. Come and help me. I'm little to die unjustly. What are you doing there? Huh? Okay, come out of the bush if you want somebody to help you. I can't come in there. I cannot. Onoja beats me here. I can neither move nor breathe. Please come and help me, please. Come and help okay. me, please. Okay. Don't even think of it. Yesterday I reconciled with my father and he promised crowning me the address of one of Akabi in the next Ekede. Hope you heard that this morning because the town choir sounded the gong. Yes, I heard it. Are you happy now? Yes, of course. And any man who marries me becomes the Ibe after my father's death. You <laughs> uh, don't seem happy. What is it? Yes. 
Hey. I saw your sister in my dreams last night. She was reaching out for me and calling my name for me to help her. <laughs> hey! Odinakadi dreamer. Forget about the past before it blinds your future. You're still young. Please. It's not a joke. It was so real. I know what amazed me most. When I reached out to help her, it's why it suddenly appeared and asked me not to try it. Then what? Then I woke up. I woke up. But it was breathtaking when I noticed the darkness of the night that surrounded me. I had this feeling that Onoja's strong arm of justice was reaching out for my spine. I had to run inside and mm, lock the door. What is it? What is it? I'm afraid. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That was only a dream. The dream I had last night. It's gone. It's okay. You know, huh? I am my sister Avon. I know. No. I feel trapped also. Out, God forbid. That can never happen. That can never do what they can never. Ono, Onoja hasn't even the, the power to cage my love. Come on, you know you my emotion. Hmm? Emotion. Mm. Hmm? And you know. There's something I would have loved to ask you, but no, I, I didn't. There is this thing that I had in mind to ask you. I don't know how you feel about it. I okay, okay. Let me say it, but. And how you manage it, huh? I would want to seek your hand in marriage, but I know my poverty disqualified me even before I. Mm -mm. In my heart, my love, you're not poor. Are you serious about it? I mean, uh, for love? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. I, when, I, I, when I get to that, I, I'll tell my mother, no, no, be, be good again. I have to leave now, you know how I stand out. I'm really fond of you now. Well, how time changes. How is it then? I caught this rodent last night. I roasted it for you. I said, when you come after the, our discussion, we're going to go to my house so that we eat it together. Let's go. Mm. No, I have to leave till next time. My father. Mm. Just take care of yourself, okay? I have to leave now. Okay. <laughs> wait! I said, wait, I have to leave. My father, wait. My father, please. Till next time, okay? Just yes, take care of yourself. Okay. Love it. Made me feel no doubt. The great goddess, and she's after me. She's appearing everywhere. That was why we were running to you too. She uh, appeared to us. Lolo, we have to tell the Igwe the truth. Oh. You must return the staff of authority to the Igwe, else great calamity will befall your family. 